Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Can Daniel Dubois spring what would be considered, for most anyways, a major upset and defeat Anthony Joshua this weekend when they face off at Wembley for the IBF title? And this is a fight where I think there's a lot of danger for Anthony Joshua from the big punching Dubois, but it's not really reflected in the betting odds. And ahead of checking some of those just to have a look, I had sort of considered this was, you know, sure, Joshua a favorite, but 55-45 or 60-40, something like that. But the bookies do seem to have it a bit wider than that. And I just wonder, you know, are people overlooking to some extent the danger that Daniel Dubois poses? Because it's a different kettle of fish to some of the guys that Joshua's recently be facing. I mean, you had the MMA fighter Francis Ngannou, who, you know, hard to really know what to make of his boxing career. Joshua dealt to him in short order. Otto Valin didn't really sort of show up and certainly not a big puncher. Robert Hellenius was washed when he was called in as a late notice opponent after Dillian White failed a drug test. And Joshua's other win after his two back to back losses to Alexander Usyk was Jermaine Franklin. And he didn't really sort of put a dent in Franklin. So I've seen a lot of people saying Joshua is going to wipe the floor with Dubois in a couple of rounds. But I just don't see it because Joshua doesn't fight the same as he used to. This is a different Joshua. He is going to, I think, be more safety first. Sure, he's going to look for the big shot if it presents itself. But he's not going to take any undue risks, especially with Daniel Dubois having, you know, punching power in both hands. And he can land in combination. One of the weapons that um, Dubois has is, you know, the right hand and left hook to the body. And I wouldn't be surprised if Dubois at some point in this fight is banging away to the body and we see that Joshua is uncomfortable. Remembering Alexander Usyk not necessarily considered a huge puncher and he did rock Joshua a couple of times. So it only takes one or two shots and Joshua could be on the back foot looking to have a bit of a break and not looking to engage as much. You know, maybe be made to be a bit hesitant and if uh, Dubois gets on top if he lands a big shot right hand or you know left hook to the body or left hook to the head you know guys generally stay hit but as we've seen with Daniel Dubois you know his defense in some of his most recent fights has been left a little bit wanting dropped by Kevin Lorena certainly Philip Hergovich was um, landing a lot of head shots with frequency but the purpose of this video was just to ask that question. Is it really outside the realms of possibility? I remember five years ago, people saying that Andy Ruiz Jr. had no shot and he was a much bigger um, underdog than Dubois is here. And here is, um, I got this from the odds checker website, you know, the odds right now. We had Andy Ruiz Jr. being a far bigger underdog. Dubois is what, 4-1 to one here. Uh, Joshua, in terms of a New Zealand Australian betting market, $1.20, $1.30. I look at that and go, that seems a little wide. Is that sort of disrespecting Daniel Dubois and the threat that he poses? I mean, I've seen all sorts of comments in the past week or two, especially since my um, preview video talking about this fight. Um, some people just giving Dubois no shot at all saying that Joshua will absolutely run through him. But who have we really seen him run through? I mean, even against Otto Valin, that wasn't over in one or two rounds. Jermaine Franklin was taking the distance. Joshua didn't put a beating on him in terms of, you know, rocking him and uh, basically uh, having him almost out of there. Some people thought that that fight was perhaps a little bit closer than the scorecard suggested. So while Joshua goes into this much more confident than he did straight after the, the Usyk losses, are people over-egging how this fight might turn out and uh, overstating the performance Joshua might put in? Are people looking at Joshua's performance against Francis Ngannou and going, he's back because he knocked out an MMA fighter. Sure, Ngannou took Fury 10 rounds and dropped him, but you know Joshua didn't muck around, found the openings, got him out of there. Is that what they see for this fight with Daniel Dubois? I think it's going to be a lot tougher than the Ngannou fight. And sure, yeah, maybe I'm going to, going to be wrong. And I'm pecking Joshua to win this fight, but I think it's going to be a lot tougher than people suggest. And if Dubois wins, 
I'm not going to be shocked at all. In, in terms of the open workout, it has happened. And Joshua, of it being a few days out, says there's no emotion, no emotions. I'm just here. I'm just here. And of the uh, the spectacle and expecting for the rest of the week, he says more media, more talking, more training, most importantly, and walking into the ring in front of 96,000 people ready to show my gladiatorial spirit. And Daniel Dubois, for his part, he says, you know, of the open workouts, part of the pre-fight ritual. I'm going through the motions and just building up my energy for Saturday. And of his confidence, he says, I know I need to go another level at my very best. I can't wait for the challenge on Saturday. I'm ready to fight. Let's go. And of talk that he's been a little bit heavier than perhaps for previous fights, he says, I'm not sure. Honestly, I've just worked hard in the gym. I've suffered and I've worked really hard for weeks and months. So I'm just ready to fight now. So those were some of the quotes from the open workout from the main event fighters, Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. So of these odds, you know, obviously quite wide. I mean, there's value betting um, for Daniel Dubois. I don't bet myself, but I mean, I'm looking at that going, that feels a little bit wide. I mean, we've seen much bigger upsets and, you know, with guys that can actually punch and with the danger that someone like Dubois has got, he's not a tiny heavyweight. He's not a guy that can't get to Joshua at some point. It feels a little wide for me, but ultimately it could prove moot and Joshua could either stop him early or walk away with it with a wide decision. I still think that, you know, Daniel Dubois is being overlooked to a little ex uh, to some extent by fans, probably not by Joshua. I'm sure that him and Ben Davison have been training and implementing um, or looking to implement a fight plan against Daniel Dubois that takes that danger into account and tries to nullify it. Whether it's successful or not, we will soon see. But what do you make of Daniel Dubois' chances? Is he being overlooked and disrespected a little bit? Or is being a 4-1 to underdog fair? Let me know. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.